Hi friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping in. And if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a subby friend. If you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. My name's Lorenda and today we are going to make these super cute keychains with our silicone bubblegum beads. So these are so easy and again there is so much stuff that you can do with them. So I did a few examples and look just how cute these are. You can make these so quickly and I think this would be a really nice product to sell. And then, so on this one, I have the plantar resin flat back and I get these on AliExpress. I did show those to you guys. I will add the video of how to find them and also the haul for when they came in so you can see them. And these are really cute. Now, the other thing with this so I could also go on and I could easily put a name on here. So I could cut it out of vinyl with my Cricut. Since this has resin on it, I can actually do an iron on. If I wanted to, I'd have to be super gentle, but I could also use my Cricut and do foil on this if I wanted to. And I could always put a name on this to personalize it even further. And then this one here with the chocolate covered beads and the tassel. And these are just really fun, super cute, easy to make, and a really nice little project to sell if you're looking for something to make. And again, you could add so much to these. So as I'm making these, I will probably add lots of different charms and because, you know, I like to do all kinds of stuff on them. So anyways, I hope that you like these. And if you'd like to see how to put them together, just stay tuned. And if I sound weird, like I usually do not do videos with my noise canceling earphones in place, but I have them in trying to see how that works. So I'm really sorry if it's weird. And speaking of that, look, here's my little case that I showed you. I picked up from AliExpress. How cute is that? It is so funny. I love it. So cute. I have a Skippy peanut butter one coming. And then I have the Millennial Falcon for my husband. And something else. I don't even remember. Anyways, listen, stay tuned and we will put these together and I hope you guys have a blessed and beautiful day, friends. Bye. All right, so we're going to start with this is the cord I use. It is a waxy cord and it works really good. I pick it up at Hobby Lobby. You can use any cord you want. And I like to use a bead tray. They do sell them at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. This one I got at Hobby Lobby. It was $6.99. I got it 50% off and it's much bigger. And I just have my items sorted out. So I'm going to start with my keychain and I'm going to take my cord, double it over and cut the size that I want. Go a little bit longer than what you need. And then I take the little loop where it's doubled over put that through the bottom of my key part my keychain piece and then bring my two strings up through it and pull that tight now <clears throat> i generally put about five beads on these you can do as much as you want as little as you want but it's basically the same idea so i'm gonna do three beads now these beads are gonna go through both pieces of thread 
If you want, you can use a bead needle. I have some, I generally don't use them. This wax cord is very easy. Now, once you put three beads on, then separate out your two pieces of string. And now the next two beads, you're gonna put only on one piece of string. And then you're going to put your charm. So if that's a tassel, or in this case, it's this little piece of plantar resin. You put that up through and bring it around, but you wanna make sure everything is nice and even. You don't want it bunched up or twisted because it won't pull tightly. And then once you bring it around the top of your piece, whatever that is, you're going to take that same string and you're going to go back through those last two beads you just put on. And then you take the end of that string and just pull it nice and tight and it'll start bringing everything together. And then you take your two pieces of string and... I like to do what's called a surgeon's knot. So you wrap them around each other twice and then you pull tight. And now you want to pull this really, really tight because you want all your pieces to come together really, really well. And then I make another knot, take my scissors, cut off the excess, and then I just sort of poke in the pieces in between my beads. And if you want, you can add some glue. I don't. I never have needed to but I know some people like to so this is really really easy now we're going to do two more of them and I'm not going to talk through them because it would be saying the same thing but I do want you to know like if you're doing the tassel I like to push the piece of the tassel where the little loop is up into the bottom bead I pull it real tight so that that goes up into it and it just makes a really nice taunt cord. These are so quick, so easy, and so cute. I hope you guys enjoy, and I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day, friends. Bye.